The Christmas Pitch is definitely one of those films where there's nothing specifically wrong with it. It's not badly filmed, the characters aren't badly written, the acting's absolutely fine, but there's just not much right with it either. It's festive, I will give it that, there's quite a lot of festivities in it, which makes sense when I tell you what it's about, but other than that, it's pretty dull. This was released originally in 2021, it's directed by Lane Marie Williams, and stars Joseph Morales as William Dyer and Alexa Marie Huerta as Becca. And they both work for the same company. They're both hoping to get the same promotion. And their boss tells them that they have to go and find the true spirit of Christmas because it's something they're both lacking. It's important to the company. And they kind of both agree to go to William's hometown of Kringle Lake, which I have to say, really like that name. And while they're there, their sole purpose, other than Will spending time with his family, is to find the Christmas spirit. And they do a lot of different Christmas activities. And that that was a really good setup to give us a lot of festivities in this. Because sometimes with Christmas films, there's not that much Christmas in them. But if you're looking for a film that might get you in the Christmas mood, the Christmas pitch is pretty good with that. So credit absolutely where it's due. There's a lot of Christmas in it. However... The characters are really boring. As I said, it's not so much that they're badly written, but they're just not interesting. And I feel like, obviously, with Becca and William, we have this romantic, potential romantic interest. It is a Christmas rom-com, of course. But I just felt like there was no spark between them. And maybe that's partly because I felt like they didn't have that many opportunities to develop that spark more intimately but I just wasn't invested in their potential relationship at all. I also wasn't that bothered about which of them might ultimately get the promotion, but I'm not so bothered that I wasn't bothered by that, as I feel like that part of the narrative definitely takes a back seat, which again does work in the, in the film's favour because they're focusing more on the Christmas aspect rather than the competition of this promotion. So the Christmas aspect definitely shines through, but the characters are boring, not that much happens in terms of the actual development of the narrative. It is just basically one Christmas thing to the next. There's a story revolving at a bakery, which is, it's okay. And I feel like bakeries are a great setting for Christmas films because they just make me want to eat Christmas cookies. So there there are some potentially redeeming qualities about the film. But as I said, while there's nothing specifically wrong with it, it just didn't really have an engaging narrative or engaging characters so it was hard to buy into the narrative and follow it and have this emotional connection but the Christmas aspect I liked so it depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for a well-crafted narrative with some interesting characters whose journeys you want to become emotionally invested in this isn't it if you just want to have Christmas vibes for an hour and an hour and a half give or take then it might be okay. So it's not terrible. It's not the worst film I've ever seen, but I wouldn't be watching it again. It had some good moments, but ultimately was lacking in any real spark and definitely needed a bit of work.